we're going to be looking at quantitative variables. Now, a quantitative variable has a numerical value. Okay, so we can assign some set number okay, that we can describe as being quantitative variable. Now, as opposed to this, we can have something that doesn't have a numerical value, which we describe as being categorical, okay, which we'll look at some examples later on. But things we can have a numerical value are what we like to call, they, have, um, they are a quantitative variable. Now, some examples to this are the number of apples on a tree. Okay, so we can count, okay, there are nine apples on that tree. Okay, they have a, some specific number to it. Now, another example is the number of girls in a group. Okay, so we can look at, look at a group of girls and we can say, okay, there are five girls there. Now, another example is the time taken to swim a 200 meter race. Okay, so if we race uh, 200 meters and we get the time of how long they took, it's going to have some sort of numerical value to that as well. Okay, so these are examples or situations where we can call it is a quantitative variable. So if we take a look at question one, we're going to classify the following as either categorical, quantitative discrete, or quantitative continuous. Okay, so we'll take a look at the difference between the discrete and continuous. Okay, and we'll take a look at the first situation. So it says the number of students in a school. Okay, so if we consider the number of students in a school, we can say that there are, for example, 92 students, 125 students, or we can say, for example, 320 students. Okay, so when we have a numeric, okay, well we already know it's not going to be a category, it's not going to be categorical because it has a numerical value. So it's either quantitative discrete or quantitative continuous. Okay, so which one is it going to be? Now when we have numbers or values that are um, set whole numbers like um, there are going to be 92 students, we can't really have 92.5 students or anything like that. Okay, in this situation we call that a quantitative discrete variable. Okay, so we have set values, okay, for spe set specific um, numbers of whatever it is, students that they have. Okay, so another example of this will be what we looked at before, the number of apples in a tree. Okay, we're going to say there are either two apples or three apples or four apples. No 2.85 apples or anything like that. Okay, so that was question one. Now question two, okay, we're going to do the same thing. Classify as either categorical, quantitative discrete or quantitative continuous. So what we have here is the colors of balls in a packet. Okay, now examples of this are going to be, say, the color blue, the color red, or the color white. Okay, so we can see there is no numerical value. Okay, they are all just information about what color they are. Okay, so if it's not a numerical value, it's not going to be a, quant a quantitative va uh, variable. Okay, so none of this is going to be categorical. Okay, so there's a nice example that shows us what a categorical variable is. Now, let's take a look at question three. So the height of trees in a farm. Okay, so if we take a look at, um, well, if you're looking at height, okay, for example, we're talking about length. Okay, so 5.8 meters or 8.127 meters, okay, or 3.001 meters. Okay, now in this, uh, in this case, uh, the, the, there's going to be some exact height of the tree. Okay, so it's not going to be some set number like what we had before. Then this is what we like to call a quantitative continuous variable. Okay, so I hope you can um, understand the difference between our discrete and our continuous variable. Okay, so this is what we have a continuous one. Okay, so we can actually have an exact um, value there. Okay, as, as opposed to just having set values as 8, 9, 10, and so on. Okay, so we'll take a look at some more examples of this. So we have the brand of cars in a car park. Okay, so if we take a look at the brands of cars, say for example we have Ford or Hyundai or BMW, okay, we can see there is no set numerical value, okay, these are just information describing um, the brands of a car, so this is called categorical. Okay, so hopefully we're getting the hang of this. Now the amount of water a person drinks each day, okay, so this is going to change um, a lot. So say for example a person drinks 700 milliliters a day. Okay, now if we go a bit more precise than that, we can say 1.2 liters a day or 2.125 liters. Okay, so as we can see from these examples, this is what we're going to call quanti uh, quantitative continuous variable. And question six, so the number of mobile phones in each house. Okay, so if we take a look at any house, we can say there's going to be one mobile phone, there's going to be two phones, or we can say three phones. Okay, in that case, this is quantitative discrete variable. Okay, so we've been looking at quantitative variables this, this time. 